No bushcraft today, eh, buddy? Good boy. A uh, little tip, guys, just to... So I'm not doing a bushcrafty setup fire today. These are actually barbecue fire lighters. You can generally get them in most supermarkets over here in the UK. I don't know about across the world, but um, yeah, they just they burn for a long time, and they're just great for getting something like this, the firebox going. So I've just bought a couple. They take a fair while to get going, but once they're lit, they generally do really well in the wind as well. So I just light about two or three of these. Keep them in a Ziploc bag. Jax is now stealing my sticks. I don't know if you guys can see that in the corner. That one didn't light very well. But they are generally really good. Uh, it's been raining a lot lately. I've just been on a obviously massive hike with Jax. So most of the twigs are damp, but I've gone for some really thin twigs there. And I've split some, some drier wood over here as well. Drop it all in there. And that's going to get going in no time. Ready for a coffee, eh, Jax? Not for you, though, buddy. That'll do. Let's pull the coffee. It's his first time at camp. He seems to be enjoying it and digging and ripping up roots and stuff. Hunting towers there, still in one piece. Always good to see. Camp's looking good actually. Isn't it buddy? Yeah. There we go. Hey buddy, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? He's had a little look in his doghouse. I'm gonna put that block there just to stop him properly getting out. There's a gap there. Ah, Coffee, instant coffee here <clears throat> in test tube. Oh, yeah, fresh coffee. Yeah, it smells good, doesn't it, Jax? Smells good. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, that's good. Hey guys, welcome to TA Outdoors. Thanks so much for clicking on the video. Uh, it's been a bit of a day hike today. I've been hiking with Jax for about four hours now, uh, just around surrounding woodlands and forestry land. And I've come back here to my bushcraft camp, which is now completely dog proof, which is great. Cooked up a coffee, life is good. And I wanted to talk to you really about um, a product that some guys have sent me that might sound a bit boring, but is actually incredibly practical. And that's socks. I think a lot of us take socks for granted because we all wear them every day. Um, those of you who are out in the outdoors a lot will know that a good pair of socks is essential. Often I will get a lot of blisters when I'm out hiking and generally my socks will tend to tear and rip and also they will start to smell after a while. But the guys at a company called We Can Never Quit or WeCanNeverQuit.com have sent me this sock which is actually completely basically custom made for those guys in the outdoors who love your hiking and your walking and you do a lot of it. So there's two types of socks that the guys at We Can Never Quit uh, actually create. And there's this one, this, the kind of ankle sock, the small one. And they also have the longer ones, the ones that come kind of right up almost to your knee. 
I've been wearing these socks for about two months now. I've been testing them out. So most of the videos that you guys have been watching for the last couple of months, I've actually been wearing these socks. I just wanted to give them a thorough testing before I did review them. So what they have on the soles of the sock here is what they call hexashock technology. And it's basically loads of little hexagons which are super padded, which obviously aid your feet for those long distance hikes, rather than just having a flat sole, which most socks tend to do. There's also, you can't see it so much on this sock because I'm holding it up, but it has reinforced arch support to support the contours of your foot. This is what I really like about both this sock and the, uh, the, the larger sock that comes up your leg, is that they've got anti-blister pads here. They're basically extra padding here for blisters, and this is generally where I always, always get blisters on my feet. I don't, some people get them down near the front of their feet. I often get them right near the back, and I just feel that that is such a good added bonus, which I've not really seen in any socks that I've owned, and I've owned some really expensive full wool walking socks and hiking socks and everything. So really good touch there. And it's right on the back of your sole, your foot, right by your Achilles tendon, which is often where most of my hiking boots will tend to rub. So that's a really good bonus. The technology in the sock itself is actually really clever because it, it basically naturally suppresses odor um, and kills off any pathogens. So you've got, you know, you can wear them for a longer period of time before washing them, before they start to smell. It also stops the moisture building up in the sock. And I don't know if you guys have had this when you're out hiking, but if you get really sweaty feet sometimes in certain socks, I haven't had this with these yet, and I've been using them for nearly two months now. They also have what's called an L-shaped design with Y stitching. And what they were saying is that most socks that people wear or tend to wear are just tubes. They're just like a tube. If you think of your standard cotton sock, they're just like a tube. But our feet aren't tubes, aren't they? They're shaped like an L. So these are actually stitched properly so that they fit to the contours of your feet. So you've got the larger crew sock, or the no-show sock, which is this one, which you'd wear generally in the summer months, which I have been wearing, hence why I've got this one out for you guys. Although today is absolutely peeing it down with rain. Now these guys do ship internationally. They ship around the US and they do ship internationally. And at the moment they've got an offer on where you can get a 10% discount if you use the code Mike. And there's a link in the description below. I think it's wecannneverquit.com forward slash Mike Loves Socks, which I do. Uh, and if you enter Mike at the checkout, you will get 10% off your socks. They have a range of different sizes and colors available on the website to, to suit your needs, really. Um, and what I think is great is they're actually offering free shipping if you buy two or more pairs of socks. And let's face it, it is worth having a good couple of pairs of socks if you're going out on overnighters for three, four, maybe five nights. Honestly, it is worth having socks, especially if you're in a temperate climate like over here in the UK, where your feet are generally gonna get wet at some point. But there is one downside to this sock, people. Give it, Jax, give it. Give it back. The sock thief. Give it back. Give it back. So we're back on the trail. J Dog's down there. Peeing up every bush and tree that you can find. And um, I don't know how many miles we've walked today. It's been rain, it's been sun. It's getting warmer now. But we're enjoying it. It's a day out with the boys. Jax is absolutely loving it. He loves walks. What dog doesn't? <clears throat> uh, it's a great mixture of woodland here as well. It's mostly coniferous, uh, but as you can see, this is all coniferous. Pretty much this side of me is all coniferous. And on the other side, there's all birch, all silver birch. So, real good mixture. Um, great to see, really. Now I've lost Jax. <whistles> Jax! Wait, look at him. Here. What's this? Here he comes. He's off exploring again. He does love a good explore. Jax, this way. This way. Yeah. Go. We're going to go off trail in a minute, guys. This birch bark is peeling. Some natural tinder there. For fire lighting, I might stock up on some of this. Always useful to have. Look how red that is. So much resin in that, and that's not damaging the tree because it's right at the outer bark that will regrow. But might as well stock up while you can on some tinder. Yeah, come, come, come. Good boy. You're a good boy. Should we go off the track, Jax? Should we go off track? Okay. Well, you go off track anyway. This is in his nature, his breed, is to just explore like this. He loves it. Can be difficult to get him back sometimes, so 
I reward him almost all the time when he comes back. Set now when I'm filming, let he smell something now. This way! Come! Good boy! Good boy! Here, wait! Sit! Sit! Jax, lie down! Oh, you good boy! You good boy, let's go! Come on! He's getting there! He's getting there! And he's off exploring. Sometimes it's fun to just watch him. It's time for some water. Come here. Oh, what's in here? Yeah, you good boy, you good boy. A subscriber of mine made this for me. Um, it's a little map with like a wool covering. And it's waxed canvas or oil canvas on the bottom. It's got Jax's little name there. It's his little mat. His name is Tim. That blue angelical bushcraft. On your mat. On your mat. Go on. On your mat. On your mat. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. He's a good boy. There you go. Good to keep his energy up, guys. And I'll give him some water as well. Wait. Stay. So I usually have a little um, folding bowl to give him water, but often if I don't bring it... Here, come here. I just give it to him in my hands. Go on. Here. Do you want some? Sometimes he wants it, sometimes he doesn't. But it's always good to just offer it in your hands, I find. Find it, find it. Good boy. Jax's food is obviously sorted. He's got his dry, his dry kibble. Here's my dry kibble. This is what I take my trail mix when I go on long hikes with Jacks. Uh, it's basically a mixture of nuts, um, you just your standard peanuts and, and other nuts, raisins, and also some nice M&Ms in there, just to boost the flavour and also to boost my electrolytes. Just for when those times when you're feeling weak and wobbly. Mm. And it's always nice to get a good old M&M in there, keep your energy up. And who doesn't like a bit of chocolate? He loves it. Practice his recall. Jax, come. Come. Good boy. Come. Good boy. Go on now. That way. That way. Good boy. Go on. So for those that are wondering, this wide track here is called a fire track because I'm now on forestry land. I'm not on my camp where my camp was built. That's on private land. But this is now forestry land. Jax, hey, hey. This is now forestry land. Uh, the Forestry Commission, they're called. And the reason they have these big tracks is a couple of reasons, really. Uh, one of them is to, if there was a forest fire, for example, there was a forest fire that side, by having this break here, it acts as a break, really, for if there's wind blowing, just prevent the fire from ripping into more areas of the woodland. So the track itself helps to break that up and just stops fire spreading, helps to prevent it. Obviously, if there's a really, really strong wind, it's probably going to go th rip through the lot, but the idea is that it just breaks it up, and there's loads of these tracks around just to break up the areas of woodland. It kind of contains the fire a little bit more. Hey! Here he comes. <laughs> a little monkey. Um, the other reason is, obviously, for fire engines and fire trucks and things like that, and logging vehicles to be able to come down here, chop the trees down. This is like a plantation, really. You can see that... Uh, I don't know if you can see here, but you'll see they're planted in rows. A lot of the time they're... Leave it! <laughs> a lot of the time they are um, planted in rows because pine trees grow really fast. And because they grow fast, they're a very good resource for wood. They can plant them, cut them down, grow them again, plant them, cut them down, grow them again. And it, that's why pine is such a cheap, generally a cheap furniture. But generally that's why, you know, pine is so... Uh, widely available as furniture because it's so fast growing they can crop it down and 
and use it very quickly and replant it and grow it very quickly. So it's a good resource in that sense. But that is why we are now on the fire tracks. I have to be careful because horse riders use these tracks and Jax has a huge fear of horses. I mean huge fear, which is our fault partly because when we were younger we walked him around here on this fire track and um, <laughs> the because it's a bridle way horses have rights of way too. The actual hunt came, one of the whole hunts, which over here is, in England is very traditional, and the hunt came and basically <laughs> uh, all the horses, there must be 30 horses, about 30, 40 dogs, they're usually uh, the hounds, so there's about 40 of them, so Jack, and he was only a puppy, he didn't know what to do, it was the first time he'd seen a horse and he saw 30 of them, and we couldn't get out of the way, they walked right by him, he had a massive fear. Now every time we watch Game of Thrones and a horse runs by, he goes nuts in the living room, so bless him, it's not his fault. So we're working on that, I'm taking him around farms and things and slowly introducing him to horses again, but if we see one, I'm afraid he will go nuts. He spotted something, he's a hunter. He's off. He's off. What are you seeing, buddy? What are you seeing? What's it? What's it? Find it. Good boy. Got a little fungi forest going on over here. Look at that. Loads of them. They're out really early this year. Guys, gonna leave it here. Just wanted to say thanks so much for watching the video. Really appreciate it. Thanks for Never Quit and their awesome socks for sponsoring the video. And then we'll head off home because Jax is getting a little bit tired, I can tell. And he's he's gonna get thirsty soon. And it's due his food again soon, his actual dinner time. So thanks very much for watching the video. Wanna go back to camp? Yeah? Who doesn't? <laughs>